From the beginning, I never really had any intention of being where I am today. I had a passion for hairdressing when I was very young, like 13, 14 years old. And um, did my mom, my aunts in the kitchen. It was back in the 60s, so it was that kind of hair. And by 18, 19, I was in, instead of, I'm a classical trained pianist, I went to a conservatory first. It didn't work for me. So I went to beauty school instead, and I fell in love with hairdressing. I met Selma Hayek in 1995, 94, 95, and she had just moved here. So she had just finished Desperado, didn't speak a lot of English. I had just moved here. She was like my muse in a way. She loved being dressed up. She loved glamour. She was like my Latina Barbie doll. And actually through her and some other people, Elizabeth Stewart, who was a fashion stylist and an editor for New York Times Magazine, I met Matthew Ralston, who was a huge photographer at the time, and then I started working with Herb Ritz and David LaChapelle. One thing led to another, and I found myself today where I am right now. I don't worry about it anymore. I let it happen the way it's supposed to happen. And I'm on hold a year in advance for Mario Cotillard. But now Kate's, I'm with Kate for Carol this year. So, you know, I'm just allowing it to be. And now Star Wars, I, I don't know what's going to happen because it was amazing. So, you know, let's see what happens. It's a good problem to have. It's always about the dress. Okay, so it starts months ahead of time. And when you work with somebody for a long period of time, you sort of get into a rhythm. Since I've known her now for four or five years, we sort of know where we've gone and where we want to go. So, and it becomes, and you start to build a relationship. The relationship is, you know, these kind of long-term relationships that I have, like with Kate or Salma or Marianne or Naomi, they're built on a, on a foundation of trust. Yes, it's built on skill, it's built on, 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 on a technical expertise, but primarily it's built on trust.